a missive from the weekend. The beautiful winter sunshine soaking up on my face here, a bit of fresh sea air. Um, do me one favor for this number of you that are watching. Hit that like button, hit that share and retweet button. Get us up to some respectable numbers so that we can fool the algorithm. Fool the algorithm. Leave a chat. Where are you checking in from? Is it nice and balmy and winter sun on the side of your face? Wherever you are checking in from. Um, here in the northern, yes, I'm in the northern hemisphere. Um, let us know where you think I'm at and tell us where you're at. Hello from Texas. Hey, you're up early. That's good, good news. Uh, Texans are up and about um, and hustling and rustling that them, uh, them longhorn steers. Anyway, yeah, let's tell you what I'm going to talk about today. A um, little bit of a heads up. And this is what's gone hidden. There's no one who's really just spitting this really clearly out. So I'm going to choose to be that guy. Yes, hey there, Pennsylvania. Wow, well, the Americans are in force here. I love it. Thank you for coming on board. Uh, the US of A, nice and early, man. You guys are up and at them. That's good news to see. Um, about to go hunting. Ah, good man. I'm going to actually jump on my enduro bike soon. So you'll hear a little bit of that. In fact, I've already got the, the scarf on. I'm not sure I need it. Maybe it can come off without taking my glasses off. Look at that. Let's take it off. Uh, I might be blocking the mic as well. Um, so what are we going to talk about? Let's jump straight into it. Uh, Hawaii. Wow, man, Hawaii. Yeah, that's awesome. That's unbelievable. Thank you for jumping on. So what are we talking about? I'm going to talk to you about uh, a few things that most people don't understand. So we all know that the subprime was a bank bailout, the 2007 and 8. It was all about the bankers and you paid. Everybody largely got that one. Uh, I'm not going to delve too deep in it. It's an old story. But the last event that's just happened you know there's that meme that's going around and it's probably the most in popular and encapsulated meme maybe in my little echo chamber it only is but it says if you've just lived through the last three years and you don't have any suspicions about how things are going down there's something wrong with you you are the problem um, so for many people uh, <laughs> That meme has become a very, very uh, popular one. Um, no, I didn't buy uh, this particular property in Cyprus, um, but we are investing in property around the world. Um, and yeah, uh, who knows? But I'm not going to give you a recant on property portfolio. So what are we talking about? We're talking about 2020. The events of 2020 put to you as a pandemic. Uh, you know where I stand on that. Uh, I don't want to overexcite the algos for all the wrong reasons. So make sure you give us a like and leave a comment. Tell us where you're from. Is it balmy and warm or is it wet and cold? London snow up to the gills there, I'm understood. A place I spent many years. Uh, I much prefer this, I have to say, with sea air. Um, what actually happened? The, the key aspect that is being hidden that occurred is that actually there was a banker bailout in March 2020 that actually superseded all forms of previous banker bailout. So let me just say that one again. There was a banker bailout in March 2020 that has been suppressed from you. So the media framing has succeeded in that COVID-19 was not was seen as a health driven event a pandemic a health driven event yet in 2019 august september october and we've referred to this often but we haven't put the whole story together nottingham welcome to nottingham eastbourne cold and dreary here says the the uk contingent north london proletariat checking in um the the key part was that well in excess of 20 trillion t 20,000 billions was actually proliferated by the federal reserve in march 2020 to the likes of all the u.s big bulge banks jp morgan goldman sachs you name it bank of america but also European BMP Paribas, Credit Suisse, etc. So you had a bold bracket of banks that received up to individually, a single bank individually, BMP Paribas, received 3.3 3 
and in comes the thumb from the side there. Six, nine trillion. Call it 3.7 trillion for a rounding error. That is 3,700 billion from an American central bank. And in actual fact, if you look at the stimulus that went to you, the citizen, versus what actually went to the banking cartel across the board, across the Western system particularly. Uh, we're talking about the pan-European Western system. Barclays was also a recipient for my UK friends. Um, what you actually got was an unbelievable derivative repo market Ponzi that started to unravel August, September, Oct October. The revolutionists here new account okay welcome glad to have you malta uh this is not malta no um but we are in, that is the mediterranean behind me though uh so what actually happened is that you had an, a mammoth bailout then everybody talks about oh this this very large five six trillion um etc the five six trillion is less than a quarter of what got pain sent to banks and of that only directly to citizens and SMEs, significantly less. A lot went to Quangos, the Transgender Promotion Fund, and all these various boondoggle, inversion, perversion, Quangos, um, the Anti-White Male Society, the, you name it, the Kennedy Foundation for Democrats, the Republican equivalent. They all got massive, massive top-ups. So they said, we're going to be, they confused you with so much give out of money that you in the end were actually one of the minor recipients yet when you listen to Yellen Granny Yoda the sort of uh, the US access to Agent Orange the Christine on guard as I like to call her um, she framed it as well you the consumer caused inflation so let me just put an analogy to you I go show up in my car to rob a bank I want to leave the engine idling and the car unlocked so that I can get away quick I steal a million bucks out of the bank and I pay a kid a street kid ten dollars to watch the car while I go hold up the bank and I come running out with my million bucks in hard cash, jump into the car, pay the kid his 10 bucks and zoot off, gone with the wind. Later to be caught and as the media is trying me, I say, it was his plan, the kid in the streets plan. I am a minority part holder in this. He is a recipient, he's part of this as well and you should arrest him I'm innocent that is in essence what they've done they've said you the man in the street have brought this on yourself and now they have to fix your incontinent behavior that has led to inflation consumer prices rise because of consumers you did this you where's the camera you did this and now we have to fix your mess. <laughs> so let's just, let's just conceptualize the, the scale of the gaslighting horseshit that you are being fed. The biggest bailouts, again, 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 the cartel of banksters. To maintain and no doubt continue proliferating and uh, holding together their derivative Ponzi which includes not-for-profit selling of silver where they drop a year and a half's total production on the market in the space of five minutes and crash the market greetings from the UAE not in Portugal no sir SOS from captured Quebec someone's calling for an SOS we'll get the drones in and the helicopters to get him He's in Quebec, he needs lifting out, it's gone planet USSR there in Canada. So, highlight story, you caused this, you got a fraction of the money, 
And when I say ten dollars on a million, it's 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 not far past an exaggeration. It's barely an exaggeration. You, the guy in court, you were a part of the getaway team car. In fact, we we claiming you masterminded this, and you clearly received money, and you're just hiding the rest. And I was just an innocent party, you know, I got sucked into this, I'm barely there. In fact, no one's even talking about me. I stole a million, you received ten dollars, but you did it. You did it. You caused inflation. And now I need to fix your mess. How about that? I mean, the scale of this gaslighting, guys, uh, is unfathomable. They are perpetuating such a Ponzi scheme that they had to give somewhere between 20 plus trillion, it could be 25, it could be 30, I mean the mind boggles. I saw six of the top banks and you were already virtually on 20 trillion and I think there were eight, nine or ten that might have been given. Yeah, I have no relationship with the minister in the UK which happens to have the surname Hunt, it's a common British <laughs> surname I'm afraid. Uh, many people can talk about uh, Jeff Hunt, the squash player, or James Hunt, the car racing driver. They can't talk about that health minister. No friend of mine. Um, so, in essence, what you're facing is a major psyop game where you're so being bullied that the people, and you've been so passive for so long, and you've complied for so long, that they're so taking advantage of you. You are the battered wives of a... 25 year relationship where you cower in the corner the minute he comes home pissed on a Friday night ready to receive your battering for all the turmoil and all you've spoiled his life you literally as the consumers and the taxpayers and we're going to get into this now you are the perpetual punch bag the perpetual gas lit punch bag that are spoiling the world whilst the cabal are funding wars funding supply chain slippages scooping up farmland scooping up property orchestrating a long sustained period of stagflation which clearly will be caused by the right sizing of the food chain which is seeing Dutch farmers being shut down British farmers being bought out American American land being bought on an industrial scale by the likes of BlackRock the criminal organization, the absolute criminal organization with the, the, the vice president, uh, ex, uh, the vice CEO, uh, or pre president I think it is, uh, who was front running the Swiss National Bank uh, currency markets using his wife's name and a wife's, his wife's account. Uh, and of course the cartel of central bankers. So they've given everybody an absolute stipend. Every American politician is a multi-millionaire that has any level of seniority. Every single one and they're married to a husband or a wife that apparently is either a trader or in the financial realm and always seems to be on the right side of the stock market. So you're talking about industrial scale corruption. 47 likes out of 135. We appreciate the comments. Um, hit us. Uh, hit us with a like. Uh, it's currently at around 40%. Um, so that's where you're at. And you're still eating it and you're still paying tax. So I consult regularly, just chatted uh, with someone. Uh, and the notion, the notion of not funding the tax extractors that are already doing the following to you. So let's understand income tax for a minute. Let's say you're in Britain or America. A lot of the people watching that will be in, in Britain or from the States. We already had check-ins from Hawaii, Texas, that's awesome. Uh, Eastbourne and uh, London and uh, various other places in the UK. So in the UK, your banking system and cartel are being bailed out at your expense. By the way, the quantitative easing that was done in the bottom of the 07, 08, 09, 010 periods has turned into a cost because the interest rates are now a lot higher on the debt. Now what happened is, there's the Treasury and the Bank of England. So let's just discuss this. Because this is unfathomable and most people don't understand this. And this is 100% sourced, you can go look it up yourself. So what happened is, 
the treasury, which is essentially the people that spend the money, that's the government, the financial kitty, and the Bank of England is the creator of money and policy and interest rates, etc. They entered into an agreement that whatever profits were made on the quantitative easing, the bonds, that the, the debt that had to be bought by the Bank of England, taken off the books of the Treasury, was put on to the books of the Bank of England. Any profit in the Bank of England was paid as, a, as, as interest and bonuses to the Treasury. It could then use that money to continue to serve the NHS, put some more money into the army, the defence, uh, social services, all the socialist policies that they've been pushing in Britain for an extended period now, but just very inefficiently doing it. Now what's actually happened is, we're talking about interest rate hikes occurring. And now that debt on the BOE is actually losing money. They have to pay interest and the value of it is going down and the interest costs of holding it is going up. Now here's what you didn't know, and this is really important. That deal was a both ways deal. So when the Bank of England earned out of that, you've been benefiting and that's been the case throughout this low interest rate environment. You've been getting a treasury stipend. Now you face nearly 150 billion. So let's understand Britain is a smaller island. So the numbers vary when you're talking America versus Britain. It's a muddy, wet island in north of Europe. A lot smaller population than America, but still substantial economy at one point. Fast shrinking, it has to be said, given its financialization of everything game and its non-manufacturing approach. But let's just ignore the decline of Britain uh, and of empire for a minute and just talk about this 150 billion. So now the Bank of England is losing 150 billion and the deal that was signed between the Treasury and the Bank of e England is that Bradford checking in. Welcome, Bradford. Um, is that the Treasury now needs to make the Bank of England whole when it is losing money. So basically the liabilities, you got the assets, you got an income uh, that you've been enjoying throughout this low interest rate period. And now because of tightening, and this is a hyper stagflation and it's going to continue to happen, despite a demand destruction event, we're going to be making higher highs and even though there will be a sell off on interest rates, uh, there will be higher lows and then there will be more higher highs and so it goes on. So the Treasury owes the central banking cartel, run by the same banks that got bailed out, <laughs> listen to this, 150 billion. And that's a conservative estimation and that's on the, at current interest rates. Don't forget, Britain is on 3.5% on an inflation of nearly 11%, 10%. 0.7%. If we don't get a massive demand destroying event soon where everybody stays at home and buys nothing, if we don't get that, that will for a sustained period like another COVID, if we don't get that with lockdowns and everything, you are never bringing a 10.7% inflation down with an interest rate of 3.5%. So that 107 is going to stay stubbornly high and probably go higher. So until you get that demand destruction event. And in the meantime, you now have a, a new department that is being funded by the Treasury to the tune of 150 billion B N billion, which is bigger then many, many entire segments of the economy that is currently being funded by government. So you are being gaslit. So here's the one thing. You owe the Bank of England, you guys, because the Treasury is essentially which collects the HMRC in the UK. It's the IRS in the States. It's the tax collector. You owe more money. You owe more money because the Bank of England did QE to fix the economy for you in 2007 or 8. Only the money it did supported a banking cartel that went back to six figure digits of bonuses for manipulating derivatives that you never asked to have done. But you pick up the bill now of the shit quality assets that you got handed at nearly zero interest rates that can only go up. 
NERP was always a, a game. It was always a PSYOP. Nobody is holding debt with a negative uh, long term. This, it has happened for a short period, but nobody. That was a proliferation of capital. Nobody is in this environment after what's happened when the bidless, the bond market in the UK, the gilts went bidless for a while. Everyone wanted to sell and nobody wanted to buy. So the biggest market in the world is like a shit coin. You get more liquidity on hex <laughs> than you get on the bond market. Everybody's selling. Now the market cap, it's worth this, it's worth that, it's worth that. There's so much of it here, let's sell some. Nobody's buying. <laughs> Nobody's buying. It could fall miles. And still there wouldn't be a bid show up. So the market went bidless. Never mind the Japanese market that was bidless for five days. So you've been told that there's a debt market that is an incredibly valuable asset and all your pensions are stuffed with it. And in actual fact, there's no one who wants to buy that shit and everybody largely sees it as shit and we're going for higher interest rates unless we have a major downside event that absolutely crushes everything and everybody. So, in that environment, that they did those very beneficial things to save the economy in your name, you now owe an additional 150 billion. The Treasury needs another 150 billion. NASA scientists said they have a battery to go to Mars in two days. Guys, everything to do with space is pure, pure deception. Anything they declare, you just know that whatever is the inverse of that is likely true. Anyway, so going back to the realities on land that are a little bit closer to home, that at least we can get a little bit of facts on. Nobody can disprove or approve the fact that they don't have a battery that will power a rocket to Mars in two days, apart from common sense. But anyway, let's, put, let's park that one for a minute. So in that environment, this is what they've done. Very few stimulus stresses. Solution is to exit the society, says Christian Ford. Very few of you actually got stimulus. But if you were a cab driver and you were declaring all your income, you would have got 80% furlough for the period that you weren't cab driving. For a number of periods. How many people, how much do you think they've actually paid out in furloughs versus how much they actually now owe in this hole in their balance sheet that's now coming and that's at 150 billion at current interest rates where further hikes are needed because you're miles behind your inflation rate in the UK and it's not different in the States. The interest bill in the States on the debt as the interest rates go high, everybody knows that by the time you hit 5%, the Fed's going to owe an unbelievable sum. An unbelievable sum. So this is why I continue to say, love your brain, thank you. Um, it, uh, there is a crisis of absolute demand destruction that has to happen. Around the corner. Your bank will be hollowed out. That's how, how do you go beyond CV19? Because we had higher rates with higher debt. The pressure is higher than it was. When the repo markets bust, which was another bank bailing, as I said, for which you got given, only very near the end, a tenner for watching the bandit's car. And then you're the cause of inflation. That was just enough to involve you in the crime to make you liable for their larger crime. <laughs> and the tax that now has to be paid on all these holes and balls is on your account. So you're sitting in the UK and you're told we need tax hikes and we're rolling back services. We're rolling back the NHS, the doctors more and more sit down computers and do Zoom consultations. Zoom consultations. Even when I was still there, you, you couldn't get a doctor to put a stethoscope on and take your chest. I mean, here's how private medicine was in South Africa. You went to see a doctor, you got an all over physical. I mean, you coughed, you said, ah, oh, you got a stethoscope out, you got looked in your ears, you got looked in your nose, you could have got your backside spent and bent over and had someone look up your jacksy as well, uh, depending on what your ailment was. Uh, you had everything looked at. You didn't even get to stay in your clothes. Nowadays, nowadays, it's a data entry point, especially in the NHS. Oh, you come in, this is the ailment, algo spits out the solution and the pharma drug that should be prescribed. And on and on and on it goes. Um, there isn't real medicine anymore. 
The most disappointing thing about this pandemic is how many scientism medical people there were that resisted people of common sense. So we said, and I stood on a rimflow pool in Zimbabwe, South Africa, and said, guys, when they first started talking about a lockdown and the World Health is considering registering this as a pan global pandemic, I said, this has nothing to do with anything apart from what's coming, which will be a vaccine they need to get under your skin. And you should not take it. I could see this whole game before it happened, and I was far from being the only one. And medicine doctors were all submitting you all to medical um, experimental injections. And I, I stand here and tell you that anybody who was statist and pro, so the doctors that still insist that there is no captured science, the police who came and under the ruse of fulfilling orders, grabbed grannies off park benches doing what I'm doing right now, getting a bit of vitamin D on the side of my face, breathing fresh air outside of an apartment, because many of those grannies live in tiny little spaces and were flogged, dragged by their hair, cuffed and thrown into the back of vans. If you're that cop, if you're in the police force and you're watching this, if you're in the army and you're watching this, you are a status tool and you have to tool down and give up your income if you're being asked to do status-based, spiritually wrong things. The doctor that is being told and suppressing what's true and discomfort with uh, treatments that have killed by heart, by mind, by stroke, by so many other ways. If you are that person, you are a status tool and you have chosen a side. You have to determine in this world whether you're going to assess this, the situation and choose who the winning team is and go along with whatever, or whether you're going to choose what the winning principles are and go regardless with that. Win lose, draw, you name it. Because the long term honors men of principle. The short term, you might get to be with a winning team, but you'll feel sick inside your very core. As a policeman flogging elderly people, bullying grannies, being pushed over, uh, grabbing people that are rebelling and bringing into question the draconian. The enemy has broken cover. Guys, there is a war on. The enemy has broken cover like never before. I've been all over this for 30 years. But some people, it took the recent events to wake up. That's great. Better, better late than never. But you've been hearing rustles in the bush. You're around the campfire. You've been hearing rustles in the bush everywhere. And you thought, there's something out there, but I'll just park it and I'll carry on eating around the campfire chatting to my mates. Now suddenly, six hyenas have broken cover and they're running at you. They're running at you. Not one, but six. The Russells were always facts. They were stalking. They were coming for you. They want your food. They want your life. They want everything. Let's be clear. They want your life. This treatment kills. It's designed to kill. And much more. So here you are in a financially bent system where you're the kid who gets paid a tenner and carries the can for the million bucks that was stolen. In the UK and in the US and everywhere actually in the Western world you are facing extremely high inflation. Inflation is their tool of impoverishing you. So in the UK and the US, you're finding your cost of livings are worse than they've ever, ever been. You have zero disposable income. You're now using credit cards to purchase necessities such as food, um, shelter, pay rent, various other things. You are using credit to pay for necessities on account of your salary lagging, your income lagging, 
a runaway, probably 20% inflation rate in terms of who you are personally. Remember, they lie. They, known liars lie, guys. And they always lie. This is like the riddle of the one God tells the truth and the one God always lies. What is the question you ask to know which of the two passageways you take? One is to eternal damnation and one is to freedom. Known liars always lie. Never trust known liars. The entire system is captured from medical, from banking, from law, from, you know, from everything. It's captured. This is a game of absolute dishonesty and you are already losing horrendously. You don't even realize what they've got in store for you still to come. How do you think that the demand destroying event that fixes Britain's 10.7% inflation versus its 3.5% interest rate is going to pan out for you. After experiencing the lockdowns, you need something bigger because there's more debt and higher interest rates. How do you think that gets fixed? It doesn't. The next one is the one. People always ask me, when's reset? I said, you're busy experiencing it. But if you're asking when is the specific Lehman's moment, it's 2023. It may have, it may already be Christmas Day of 22. It's between now and the end of 2023. I'm telling you. And it's going to be bigger, bigger. Listen to the words, listen to the words. Bigger, special effects, enhancement. This has got to be so goddamn big. What's bigger than shutting down all the SMEs, shutting down your restaurants and keeping you locked inside, reducing your ability to travel, reducing your, your consumption of oil, petrol and all of these things to cause a crash that we predicted technically using HVF method. Go to the marketsniper.com, book a call. Um, and that's also launched a, a gold bull market that has paused for now. All of these things happen. What's going to be bigger? Well, Russia hack, take all your money out of your bank, that's going to be handy. And then to not just make it financial, remember, they hid. They've hidden and suppressed the fact that the Fed has paid in excess of 20 trillion to a handful of banks. You didn't know COVID-19 was a bank bailout. It was all hidden behind the health and the lockdowns. You were also involved in these things that are affecting your daily life. Da, 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 da. You didn't notice that over 20,000 billion were paid to foreign and US banks. If you're an American, why? Why are you sending money to Credit Suisse and BNP Paribas? Because they all a transnational pressure group running a scam and they were blowing up. <laughs> That's why. And they're not ready yet to pull the tent down on your head. They're waiting for this one. They needed more time. Now their CBDCs are ready. They are drilling right now your CBDC. Hear me now. You're sitting with money in your bank account. They are drilling right now a transnational. The same banks that received the 20 plus trillion are drilling the central bank digital token. The use. Do you understand that? 12 week plan what happens after a drill you go live guys that's what happens after a drill you go live listen i was in the military we employed i was involved in a hot war we employed fully 150k south of where we were employing for real and we did the entire uh, drill uh, the entire event planned what we were doing interaction fire and movement with tanks Biffles, everything, you name it, the whole shooting match, full automatic, live, firing. We were shooting up the bush like you've never seen before. We set bushfires alight. That's what we did prior to going live. <laughs> we did more damage to each other drilling than we actually did in the live event. We had a, a, a friendly fire event on the drill. And one of the drills, the big automatic weapon at the back of the biffle got whipped by the trees as we were crashing through the trees. The guy had his finger on the trigger. It only shoots automatic. And the barrel went into everybody seat belted into it and shot them across the thighs. This is war. The drill is on. They're going to go live. And it's coming soon. <laughs> Sorry. So what does that mean? What do you do? You prepare as best you can. 
any form of preparation is better than no preparation. Can you be perfectly prepared? No one's perfectly prepared. There's lots of CBDCs potentially. There's something going on maybe in the stable coin space. Someone was suggesting with USDC. Of course, Goldman Sachs and Circle is behind USDC. And I'm sure it's spying on you like fuck. Just like Bitcoin is spying on you like fuck and in an open ledger for all the Bitcoin maxis. Um, you know, you think they're going to ever let you have your own money. How many times do I have to say this? They will never let you have your own money. They will never let you have your own money. They, who want all the power over you, cannot afford to let you have the right of issuance of your own money over them. Has that sunk in yet? They will never let you have your own money. Bitcoin is not irrefutable freedom from a cartel. It is the lie they're using to get you into it. And neither is any stable coin, neither is any crypto. And the cryptos that will survive are all statist. XRP, flipping ETH, all of them. They're going to be part of the tools of implementation that are going to imprison you. So here you are in this world. You are asked to pay higher tax rates in the UK and the US in an environment that your money has been devalued and your income has lagged. So your income is lagging substantially in real terms to its buying power. They are already in the process of impoverishing they now you and they're now looking for the knockout punch. And who isn't impoverished? The billionaires that borrowed at 1% over uh, fixed, 1.5% and have bought assets. And you are saying, oh, but I'm afraid, I, I'm not sure about getting a Panama corporation and reducing my tax. It's naughty. I'm, I'm afraid of breaking rank. You are cuddling up. If you are paying right now tax, you are feeding this beast. If you are paying income tax, don't forget you're paying VAT, you're paying all the indirect taxes, everything you move, everything you buy, your, your petrol, your diesel, your, your, your groceries, most, you're already going to always pay that tax. Then you've got inheritance tax, which is after you've paid income tax and every other tax that you pass it on to your kids, they want to tax again on taxed income. So this is the game they've set for you and you've accepted these principles. By participation, you are in acceptance of these principles. Do you understand? You're participating in a system and you are thereby accepting its principles. You don't play a game of chess and say, well, my queen or castle moves like this and take four steps to the left and go three forward and take their king and go checkmate. You can't do that. If you play chess, you're playing by the rules that are established for chess. They've set the rules of this game. You must pay tax on already tax money. And then when you buy something, you must pay tax. And when you fly, you must pay an extra tax. And when you pay this, you pay a tax. And when you invest in crypto and it goes up, you pay a different tax. And when you die, you pay a tax on already tax money. Your heirs will be forced to sell everything you leave to them because the tax bill will be too big. Because you didn't take some basic steps to put all your assets as a custodianship into something that never dies. No cap gains in jib, yeah, for now. Don't forget, they're coming with a universal uh, minimal tax of 15% uh, globally they want as a corporate tax. They have harmonization is the phrase. It's so harmonic. It is such a beautiful harmony isn't it? That they intend to harmonize tax across all corporations. So what you have today, you may not have in the future, but you should be focused on protecting that what you have. We help you with this thing called income tax. We help you with that estate planning so that your wife doesn't have to pay, or usually spouses aren't as badly hit, but kids um, on your passing. Do not leave a mess for people when you go. This is a slave system. So in the UK and in the USA, you're being taxed on inflation. Your buying power is going down, your income hasn't gone up. All of that brought about by the bail-ins given substantial trillions and billions to banking cartels that already were bailed out in 08 or 09. They've never made more money. They've never successfully extracted and they've made it so that the debt is so high now that no one can pay. It's a Weimar situation. 
They finished the fullness. This is the parabola of harvesting money for them. Because they've stolen trillions that they can buy entire countries with. Never mind land. Can buy forests and real estate and farms forever with fake coupons that they've created to the tune of trillions on bailouts and perpetuate Ponzi schemes that are protecting them and keeping gold and silver from shining to its fullness. You can't feed this machine anymore. You are playing in a chess game where I've told you all my pieces are queens and all your pieces are pawns. Would you play me that game? I've put a big prize money on this thing. You've had to contribute half and I've contributed half. Every one of my pieces behaves like a queen. Every one of your pieces except your king behaves like a pawn. Are you playing? Are you playing me? Do you think I'll win? Shit chess player that I am, I will win. Every time. And you will lose every time. Those are the rules you've signed up for. Tax upon tax upon tax upon that upon the tax upon tax upon tax upon death taxes. And you're not protecting yourself and you're continuing to feed this machine. The sooner we stop feeding this machine, the sooner the whole thing blows up, the sooner we can get on with a new system. Not that I'm telling you it's going to be a good one, but I'm done with waiting for the hammer to fall. And at least you can get some gold and silver in the meantime. At least you can have something that you hold in your hand that can't be printed by them. Some land and some property that can't be printed by them. But they're still going to come. They have a plan for all of us. Stackers, property owners, don't worry. They've thought it through, but at least you've got something and it'll take a little longer to implement and you'll have some relative wealth. They want a technological Bolshevik communism. You need to take action. There is opportunity to actually make money by shorting in the current market. Book a call to marketsniper.com. Unbelievable shorts, plus longs, actually. They've created the rules, of course, where you always lose, as said in the comments there. Stop paying them. Stop paying them. If you're a small business owner, you should have stopped paying them long ago. It's time you got in touch. Support at the Market Sniper. We'll help you with a Panamanian structure. Small investment today. Massive savings for the rest. The gift that keeps on giving for the rest of time. You should have a Georgian bank account outside for now, although later to join the common reporting standards. Three currencies can be held. Instead of being raped when you use euros to buy things in dollars or dollars in pounds, you can have three of the currencies so that you don't get scammed when you're buying things online from different places where there's different pricing. Amazon has different pricing. I once showed a microphone that I bought. It was $57 in the UK and £159 in Britain. And I bought it in the US and had it delivered and paid some extra postage. Still saved a ton of money. Now... They try to force you to only buy inside your zones. Now they block that. That was plenty years ago. So they are running a scam system where you must pay the maximum according to what they think you're, you are worth. So something that was priced at one level in one country was priced at a different level than the other. No, I want to buy it in the cheapest place and I want it brought to me. This is their game. Maximal extraction. So... Talking about the non-playable characters, tax extractors for a, an evil, satanic, pedophile system. Because that's what they are. Pedophilic, murderous, child trafficking, vile system. That's who they are. Understand it. If you've learned nothing from Epstein Island, then you've learned nothing. Um, but this is a bribery, blackmail cult of people with low character that are psychopathic. So you're going to live your whole life to pay taxes to beaters. They're actually all beaters. They're not alphas. They've got together to get brave. And they've seen how compliant and docile people are. And that's made them brave. But a bunch of beater pedophiles, you're going to say, I lived and paid all my taxes throughout my life, stayed working poor, so that I could pay taxes, so that a bunch of beta pedophiles could run a scam system on me. How's that sounding? 
What does that make you? What does it make you? What do you think it makes you? Are you proud of that life and existence? Now that you know it's a scam? Now that you know? Now that you know how they've cheated and lied to you? How every time you get the tenner and get the tab for the million bucks? And they get the million and they get off scot-free? The war machine. The ever expensive war machine. New John Hopkins. If you want to puke and wipe your mouth or spit mucus, say the words John Hopkins. Say the words Tavistock Institute. Say the words, uh, there's so many of these uh, mealy mouth things that always get massive donations whenever there's QE. Multi-millionaires living, running these informal non-governmental institutions and clubs. No one funded the Market Snipers Enduro Bike Riding Committee. No one sent me anything. How come Tavistock and the Smithsonian's and uh, all of these mealy mouth cultist, genocidal, eugenicist schmucks getting all this money? Because they are running the show. They are running the show. That's who you're paying tax to. It's not going so that your neighbor can go to the NHS and get his treatment. They've put all that on debt. The whole system is broken, long gone broken. There's going to be major jubilees. As I've said, it has to happen soon. Britain can't arrest 10.75% interest rates. Uh, inflation, my apologies, with 3.5 uh, interest rates. They've got to, they've got to, they've got to kill it. So, guys, are you a man of principle or are you just wanting to go along, keep a low profile and cuddle up to Stockholm style to the beta paedophiles that have organized themselves into a, a, a child trafficking, psychopathic death cult and only want to have the planet full of beta paedophiles like them so that they don't have to stand in fear that someone with some testosterone actually slaps them about the gills locks their ass up and cuts their little tiny pippy off so they can never do anything foul to anybody else again. Which one are you? Which one are you? Have no illusion. Chatham House, another one, absolutely, Steve. Tons of them. You keep them knowing. There's a Labour one, though. not the Smithsonian's. There's another one that uh, often gets named, you know, does a study from, you know, the Chatham House Institute or from the Yada Yada Fish Paste. There's so many of these oily little extraction agendas. Who's requisitioning these schmucks for studies? Who says they're even qualified to do studies? Which government approved a contract to pay my tax money to a bunch of paedophiles to study something? Explain that to me. You absolutely, and the guy says you need guns and ammo to fight tyranny, and it is the final war. It is the war that's on you, and this is what I started out saying. When it gets hot, and it will get hot, and the soldiers fire on you, anybody fulfilling, anybody fulfilling status suppressionist, oligarchical, technological, communistic suppression of free citizens becomes a non-playable character in the virtual game scenario. They have no soul to you. They have no brain. They have no conscience. So let's take it to the NPC, because that's what I put in the heading, and that's what I got reminded there in the comment. The non-playable character. All the doctors still asserting, after all this information, that you should get boosted, are vile, non-playable characters in your arcade game of your mind. You don't even acknowledge them. You push them out the way while you're dealing with real players in the game. They are echo chambers, programmed echo chambers, wankers, brain dead, soulless, vacant. Vedantic principle says you have been given a mind, use it. You should be determined by principle. These people are not following a Hippocratic oath. They are following their paycheck. They've taken the money and they will betray you and lie, you, lie to you and fulfill the Stockholm principles, the syndrome principles of a cowering, battered wife who curls up in the corner as the, the brutal husband slowly 
slips his belt out of his pants and doubles it up to give her another facial lashing and a blue eye. That's who you are. You've never thought of picking up the kitchen knife and giving him a little party surprise back and setting yourself free from a life of battery because in a financial system you are the battered 25 year housewife with a drunk husband and you've learned fuck all and you've never reached for the knife and I'm telling you it's reached for the knife time anyone who is engendering the status agenda has avoided themselves of a soul they took the money over principle they are non-playable characters in a, a game a, a gamer world of star wars they are the white plastic stormtroopers running around the corner you're sitting there with your machine gun they're coming to get you you mow the fuckers down they are npcs there is no soul there's no humanity they have no families because they destroyed the family of the world they destroyed their brothers or sisters by selling them out they are soulless soulless serfs to fiat a, a, a bankrupted failed derivative ponzi that's on the realm of absolute goddamn collapse they sold themselves they are non-playable characters doctors army sergeants that fire on citizens that execute new war nurses that jab people without thinking if they're actually doing any good injecting young children with virtually with fresh beautiful new cells zero toxicity in them a massive amazing powerful immune system for which a seasonal flu will make them sick maybe once and for which their immunity will shake it off in time they'll run a temperature and they'll be stronger than ever before for the experience you are pumping mercury mrna and editing blood clotting into these young beautiful cells and killing and maiming and causing open-ended health issues all of you have in my world my gamification of this shit fuckery that is going down have rendered yourself a non-playable character you've had the opportunity to learn you've had the opportunity to understand if you've not shown any Vedantic principle of understanding what you're facing Then you are on the wrong team You are an NPC. You are a white stormtrooper for the dark state Darth Vader enterprise and you are pawns on a chessboard that should be Disregarded with no remorse because this is a war of principle and you either chose what you think will be the winning side or the easy ride or you choose winning principles and i'm here to tell you it's time for the people that are choosing winning principles to coagulate together like blood clots in a system and give this fucking system the stroke of its life bring it down bring it down by not funding it bring it down by resisting bring it down by organizing with others understand this is your game and your calling in life npcs are absolutely everywhere this is a game where there's very few salient sentient souls point to the eye the third eye of your mind have you engaged with whether what is going on is right or wrong? If you say it is wrong and it ends badly for us, then you need to take action now. You need to pick up your axe now. And NPCs are actually against you. They are stormtroopers against you. You've given them a chance to wake up. If you're sitting, the most popular meme that's been going around is if you've sat through three years of this, and have yet to be have any remotest suspicions about the direction of the world you have just in my eyes become that NPC you may not be an enforcer you may not be a, a nurse jabbing people a doctor selling 
toxic pharmaceutical objects. You may not be a fiat banker proliferator, part of the death cult, the, the big vampire squid sucking the blood out of the throat so that the animal is almost dead. You've sucked so much blood out of the system that it's time to jump to the next parasitically. The Sabbatean Francus model is parasitic. They look down on men of the soil. The great region of Ukraine and Russia where they were all put, they refused to farm. They wanted to be inside other societies to suck parasitically and introduce the pawn, introduce the, uh, the, the fighting, the war, the extraction, the costing, the sh loan sharking, everything that was addictive, everything that was uh, parasitic. <coughs> this is a moral position you now need to take. I'm here to tell you, right now, wherever you are, as you watch this, you are either actively taking a moral position or passively taking one. If you're paying tax and you're funding this beast, you have passively elected to go in my Stockholm category of individual. And I understand it's hard for you to reposition and refix. I was in the same situation. You have to pull yourself out of that goddamn system and side clearly with the right team. There is no gray area anymore. There is a war. People are getting shot in a crowd. Suddenly, it splits left and right and there's a standoff. And everybody knows which guy's on their team and which one isn't. You're at that point now. The parasitic death the devious, the deception death. Oh yes, Zelensky says Ukraine will be the new Israel. They've always been deep in there. They need the soil. They want that land. Teachers need to wake up. You don't preach inversion, perversion. You don't preach multiple gender. That's another NPC. You turn into that NPC and you program preach garbage to kids. You brainwash kids, you actively participate in this new curriculum world. You are an NPC to me, you are a stormtrooper, you are a lowly, non-ranking, piece of garbage stormtrooper working for the Darth Vader dark system. And when push comes to shove, you'll be shorn and sheared uh, in the name of a choice between me surviving and you surviving, you gave up your soul when you chose that kind of rock and roll. Let me tell you. And if that's how you're going to rock and roll, you're going to do the ballroom dance and it ain't going to end pretty. You're going to hit the deck. It's time for us all. It's time for us all to recognize decisions are being made. The next big hit is coming and you will be in all kinds of trouble because they get the chance to plan it, to control the media narrative. Everything you will hear out of mainstream media will be garbage and will be designed to provoke an emotional response. Usually it's fear. And usually they'll tell you, sometimes they'll even make you fearful by saying don't panic when there is clear panic so that they sound mature and responsible and comforting. But usually it's fear. I saw this vile woman on this John Hopkins Institute that was drilling for a 2025, it looks like a MERS type pandemic mark too. And she was saying, and the countries that come out better of this drill are the ones that have done pre-pandemic preparation, set aside budgets, set aside funds, done this, done that. No, that's not. That's what, that's what FTX stole for and gave to. That is like a new war. It's like a new military industrial complex to give up new amounts of money of your tax money. It's like NASA. Oh, we spent some of your tax money on selling you bullshit composite pictures about how we're going to Mars. Oh, we took some of your tax money to do pre-pandemic planning. Meanwhile, all we did is put a bunch of insider, beta, pedophiles on a committee to do drills and work out our planning. Drills go live, my friend. 7-7 was drilled. 9-11 was drilled. Drills go live. John Hopkins is drilling. They drilled on 7-7 the attack exactly as it occurred, including the bus outside the Tavistock Institute of all things. The tube stations, the bus, the location of absolutely everything. 
and they admitted it on TV. You can go Google for the YouTube of it. You can go schmoogle, go use any of their sick search engines and AI that they use to uh, control you and pop emotive things up in your face. And a statistician said the probability of them being able to drill a random event that involved so many tube stations and a specific bus number and bus location to have done that exactly was some one is to a few hundred billion. Fancy that. Given a choice between choosing a number between one and a hundred billion and they just damn well first go pull that very number. Un Believable. Unbelievable. And what are you doing about it? You need to build wealth out of their Ponzi schemes collapse. And it is doable. There are a lot of risks, a lot of counterparty risks. It's tradable. Things will go up and a lot of things are going to go very far down. And you need to invest in assets that will continue to hold value. And you need to stop respecting these beaters with their high tech toys. These are nerds. You bowing before nerds, you quivering in fear, getting anxiety. Your wives and your women are, in, are wanting to comply and you're bending because you want to make them happy. You are lower than beta shark shit if you are allowing these people to dominate you. You have to be actively making plans to take yourself away from all of this. Yes, watch the ripple effect along the line. What was it? Uh, something along the line. Uh, the movie. Mujahid did it. So there you have it. That's my message for you. Make money at their expense. Pay them no money. Unplug from their system and get self-reliant. Arm up and recognize that you may have to, in the name of your own personal defense, recognize that anybody who is enforcing pandemic cures, tax extraction, shooting on citizens as army when they, um, when they complain or when they revolt, enforcing and whipping grannies in parks because government said so and it's my job, the Nuremberg Code, you always have to ask, you have to have a soul and ask, is the action I am taking representative of principle or is it bullying on behalf of a bullying cartel of psychopathic, mealy-mouthed, weak, Tony Blair-esque, feminine, beta cucks that are all pedophiles. So I've dropped so many P-bombs. Uh, this YouTube will actually get virtually no uh, promotion. So 304 of you, everyone hit the like button for spitting it exactly as it comes out of the heart. Right now, do that. Fool the algo. Fool the algo so other people get the message. Because it's time you know. It's time you know. And it's time you choose. And it's a, the one choice is far harder. Everyone says, oh, I take the harder road. I don't take the easy road. Bullshit. Most people that talk that don't do it. I'm telling you, you've got to choose the harder road. You've got to choose principle over Stockholm Syndrome. And one is so much easier to do. Okay, with that, I love you and leave you. Go to themarketsniper.com if you want to build wealth in these times. If you want to find structures that will protect you and use their own weapons and bureaucracy against them in terms of protecting your wealth that you've accumulated over a life in spite of all their compounded garbage and taxations that they've laid upon you. Go to themarketsniper.com and book that call if you believe in it. But whatever you do, regardless if you don't do any of those things, recognize you are choosing and you're either choosing actively or passively. And you're playing in a game of perps fellow colleagues and the rest are NPCs. 99% of the world is cowards with Stockholm Syndrome. They'll just get in the way and if they're bringing damage to you or your family, you have to view them as the gamification of storm troopers on the, on the starship, the dark star uh, of them. If they need shearing, they need shearing. To save you and your family, they are weapons of state. Okay, till next time, catch you later. Remember the website, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, 
and share. We will catch you again soon. Make your choice this weekend. You have a full-on show, a World Cup show in Qatar, where people were muzzled because of Iran. And um, you can see England kneel. Oh, no, they got chucked out. They were kneeling before their opponents. How passive is that? Uh, they were kneeling for a communist-funded, Marxist, race-based institution when they already had an end racism uh, scheme before that. They were all cucks. The entire England team are little NPC cucks all of them but so were the Germans picking out Iran Iran is one of the most secular societies Iran is um, civilized compared to Saudi that had the right to bury teenage pregnant girls up to their heads and stone them to death Iran Iran is the least problem of the world but unfortunately America's master controllers that they happen to give the most aid to want to own and run the whole Middle East and for that they need Iran to be flipped. You've done. They need Americans to die flipping Iran for them. You've died to flip Afghanistan, you died to flip Iraq, Ira Iran is standing out. You died to flip Somalia, you died to flip everything for them. They want you to die to flip that. If you're in the army you should leave. US, UK, leave it. There is other things you can do. Decide to be morally engaged. I know you're young. I know mo morality is far lower on your priority for many of you. And you think, I just need to live, bud. I just need to make a rent check. No, you don't. Stop earning anything for a while and think. Whatever you come up with, come up with in that moment of creativity will far outpay you than a measly, shitty job as a private, a corporal in an army, a constable in the police force, a, a jabbing nurse. You're paid garbage. Actually, the irony is NPCs are disrespected by their owners. The worst paid people are the NPCs of the psychopath, beta, pedophile system. Think of it. A constable in the police. You paid garbage. A nurse. You're disrespected. You paid so badly. You're expected to live in London and live on a nurse's salary. Same in the USA. Anything that had vocation is corrupted, captured and abused. You are an abused wife as an NPC as well. You're absolutely financially abused. Everything you do after that of your own business in time will well surpass in earnings the absolute shit that they pay you. And they're going to fuck your pension up. They've got it stuffed with debt. They're going to zero it out. And they're going to, you're going to be one of the lowest UBI serfs in the planet. Cop. Army soldier. And nurse, and I respect nurses, they're vocational and everything, but you need to engage your brain, girls and boys. I respect people that have done military discipline. There's something good to be disciplined, but you know what the military process is? Fulfill orders. That's really it. The biggest brain psyop, as someone who became a lieutenant, is don't ask questions, just do like exactly like I tell you. Oh, okay, so you're no longer a human being. You may as well be an AI terminator then. Guess what? That's coming. When they are done, they will swap soldiers and nurses out for AI bots that will just fulfill orders. Because that's what you've become in becoming an NPC for a dark state satanic fucking existence. That's what you became. And that's why you paid shit. Because I'll have a bot doing your job soon. Because when you've got no soul, you've got no soul. When you've got no principle, you are just an algo. You are reduced to just being an algo. If you lack principle, you lack soul, you are an algo, you are an NPC. Understand what I'm saying to you right goddamn now. If you do not choose principle, you lack soul, you are an NPC, you will be replaced by an algo and you're probably paid shit. Okay, that's what's coming. You know what to do. Until next time, I'll catch you then. Bye for now.